Hey guys, Sarah here. <clears throat> Clear my throat to start the video. Another day, 30 ink, 30 days, day 19, new page. Um, let's just for a moment. I can't believe, I really like that color. It's so bizarre. It's really not me, quote unquote. I really, really like it. So, I've got my next thing set up and I thought I might try today. So I try and um like kind of zoom in and stuff when I edit it. But I, I I'm curious what would happen if I actually like zoom in when I start drawing. It could be a disaster. Or it could work. So I haven't completely decided. I also, you know, could completely forget that I've said this in 90 seconds time. But if I remember, I might give it a go and see. So same deal as always. I've got my trusty little doobuackers here. My cloth that I'll just get all. Um, that's going to be for later. Sip of wine to begin. Okay, let's jump in, shall we? And today it's going to be Kobe Ink number 74 by Odani Cosmo, Cosmos Red. I'm pretty sure this is one I got for Mother's Day as well. I think I had 10 altogether, so it was going to be like a third. Um, so I'm going to guess that it's red, but it looks kind of like a dark red in the vial there. But why don't we jump in and give this a go. So if I do this, what do we, what do we think? Let's try. I think I'm going to do the circles in the finer nib and then come in with the thicker nib for these lines here. Um, I have discovered that circles are hard. Oh. Wow, that is like a really, I mean, I've just had some kind of awesome pinky purples this month, haven't I? It's definitely the color theme that I'm really enjoying at the moment. Like the majority of what I picked for Mother's Day was within that realm. Oh my God, circles are awful. Does it go in there? Yeah, it does. Oh my God, these circles are so bad. This is... um quite saturated but it's the probably the kind of saturated that I like like it's not super like punchy it's just deep um oh my goodness gracious look at these circles so yeah it's a this type of um I said that already, the deepness and like the fullness of a color without it being like crazy bright off a page is what I like a bit better. I'm actually, I think I called it purple, but I'm wondering if it's actually a really, really dark pink. Just looking at these bits where it's drying, I am leaning towards, oh my God, have you ever met someone so non-artistic? so artistically challenged. I think I'm leaning towards maybe it's actually a really dark pink, kind of like a magenta, but like a, a, a ever so slightly muted agenda, uh, agenda, magenta. I want it without, um, I don't want to get ink there. But like, if you look down here, that to me is much brighter. And this is, I think it's pink. I think it's pink with almost like a really, is that almost like a bit of a sheen, like a really dark red over the top? Can you see? Like in there, the heavier bit, it, it is like a burgundy dark red. And then these lighter bits, you're getting a nice kind of magenta -y color. Oh, I wonder if you get it in the right pen that could shade between those two colors. That could be pretty beautiful. So why don't we write in try something different this time. 
it's another one that um, feels really lovely on the on the page so I'm just doing this because it's a longer title so we're going to call this number 74 So you could get into the discussion as to, so now, right? And I'm touching the camera. You could get into the discussion as to, is this actually a red? I think it's more of a, a pink. So, you know, we have all had conversations before about why name inks things if it's not, but I have no idea what Mayudani means and I guarantee someone's going to come into the comments and be like, that's actually referring to an egg that, egg, that an egg that a red that's had some sort of reaction in space that's made it pink or whatever. That came out sarcastic. It actually wasn't meant to be. I think it's amazing. I've learned so much just from people commenting in the, com commenting in the comments. Um, I try and go in with inks like blind or as blind as I can to just really experience it. But it also means that, how am I going to do this one? It also means that sometimes I, I was going to say it can seem like I don't know what I'm talking about, but in actuality, I just don't know what I'm talking about. I can't remember how I've made it happen to see, you know what, I'll show it to you after. Um, it's, I actually don't know what I'm talking about. And I, I like that. I like that my reactions are real and like the learning that happens afterwards. But sometimes I do feel like I wonder if I also just come across as like, I don't know, like a bit of a schmuck, a bit of a, not an idiot, just a bit of a something. Like, oh, why didn't she just go and look that up? It's, you know, you're talking about something you obviously don't know about type of thing. But that could very much be a thing that purely exists in my head and, you know, none of you are criticising me in that way. Uh, but, you know, such is life. So ooh, look at the where it's pulling. So, again, let's try on the Stalogy paper versus the Travellers. Mm, I was going to say, is it more pink? But I'm not sure if it is. I kind of want to wait and see that dries, but look at that pool in there. That's what I was trying to point to in that writing sample um, in the Travellers, that this kind of like red burgundy coming in. I think I referred to it as a sheen, but I it's not reading as that here. Let's see how the writing sample looks here. It just feels beautiful on the nib. And I've, I've been quite lucky lately. A lot of them have just felt like really nice inks to write with, which um, is awesome because that's the whole, <laughs> well, for me at least in terms of what I use ink for, that's the whole point. So let's see. I'm always curious um, if this is going to, Uh, feather or not and it doesn't seem to it actually as well this isn't the best nib in the world it's um you know it's a cheapy off aliexpress like that felt really nice you know um whether it means something or not that ink is sticking to that um nib quite a bit usually i just need to do like one quick rinse but this one's going to need two so maybe there is something <clears throat> part of me in there that's just coating uh, or it's within the ink that's kind of making it coat the nib a little bit more. So this to me is in that world of darker pinks. I think I'm agreeing with that change of thought I had before. I do think this is a dark pink versus a purple. I'm actually not sure if I have a swatch of this one already so I'm just going to jump in and have a look um, because then again it's been able to see it on another piece of paper which is always fun 
well, fun for people like us. Other people probably think we're a bit uh, bizarre. It's kind of giving me... Is it giving me black swan vibes? So you know what's interesting? There is a sheen. If you look at it there, can I, what, it's very slight. But I'm going to say that's like a brownie green sheen that's coming through there and quite a bit in the thicker writing sample there. Nothing is popping up for me there. There's a kind of cool halo going on, but I think you're getting a really, really nice deep burgundy in the middle and then it's kind of bleeding out to a lighter pink. But as I was saying before, it's still very saturated and deep and full. Um without it being like really bright. So let me jump back to this one. Um, I'm just curious to see if what I was describing before of like that red is actually a bit of sheen coming through there. And I think it might be kind of looking at the M and these little dots here, you're not seeing too much else, especially if you compare to like what we were doing yesterday with that, it was just like all sheen. This one is much more subtle, which I really like. Uh, so another ink in kind of this cool purpley pinky world that I'm really enjoying at the moment. This is Kobe Inks number 74 Mayodani Cosmos Red. That was day 19. Tomorrow is day 20, which I think is like the we're on the home stretch, 10 more to go, or is maybe 25 on the home stretch. Anyway, tomorrow's day 20. Let's see um, what we what we pick and hopefully it goes nicely because I've had some really nicely themed pages thus far. Awesome. I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.